in this problem, we're dealing with some more logic. In this case, the logic of conditional statements, remember those are if-then statements, and how to find the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of those conditional statements. First, a little bit of notation. Uh, people who study logic have an interesting shorthand for how to write it. So uh, when you see a statement like uh, if something, then something else, in this case, if P, then Q, uh, logicians will write that with a, just an arrow between them. So this, you would read this as if P, then Q. And I've got some rules up here, here for how to find the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive that are written in that shorthand. So if you have a statement, for example, we have if more than half the parking lot is paved, then 70% of the parking lot is paved. That's our conditional statement. It doesn't really matter what these pieces are, the hypothesis and the conclusion. We'll just take those for granted. Um, our job is to apply the logic here. We want to find first the converse of this conditional statement. The converse of if P then Q is if Q then P. So you take the hypothesis and the conclusion and you just switch around. So the conclusion is going to go first, the hypothesis is going to go second. So I would say if 70% of the parking lot is paved, then more than half of the parking lot is paved. There, we've just switched the hypothesis and the conclusion. The if still goes first, then still goes second, but um, the, the hypothesis and the conclusion switch places. All right, let's try the inverse next. The inverse, what we do, if it says if P then Q, we just negate both. So we say if not P, then not Q. And I think I'm going to use the phrase, it is not the case that. Uh, otherwise, the grammar can get a little bit confusing. So I'm just going to use that uh, as my go-to phrase for negation. So instead of if more than half the parking lot is paved, we're going to say if it is not the case that more um, than half is paved. I left out a couple words there. Then it is not the case that 70% Saved. So that is the inverse. We just negated both statements and left them in place, both parts of the statement. The contrapositive is sort of like a combination between the converse and the inverse. You do both things. You switch the hypothesis and the conclusion, and you negate both. So in that case, we'd say, if it is not the case that 70% of uh, the parking lot is paved, then it is not the case that more than half is paved. So that is a little bit of work with the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of conditional statements.